The Donline Shore is a proximal expansion zone of densely packed habitable worlds, proximal, as in, the proximal end of the Orion Arms, coreward to the center of the Milky Way. Contained in the zone are 12 worlds, not just habitable for human life and rich in resources, but also close enough that travel time between each world could be measured in months, though end-to-end -end travel straight from DS1 to DS12 would still take years. The only reason no one was able to fully take advantage of the shore was due to its distance from the core worlds, even with the closest blink gate, it will still take years just to arrive at the shore, but just as Union has completed a still unnamed blink gate within the expansion zone, the proxy conflict between the baronies and armory that has been waged for centuries have gone hot. As a result, Union quickly closed down the gate, preventing anyone aside from Union vessels from passing through it, however, this will not stop the conflict, merely slowing its flow, as ships already traveling through the long rim are still arriving daily, with Union barely able to contain the steady flow. Through their contacts in pirate groups and enterprises, the armory and baronies are able to smuggle equipment, personnel, and even ships into the shore, that's not even counting in already established key ports on well-developed planets that continue to manufacture equipment, train personnel, and support battle groups already present in the shore. This video will be focusing on those key ports. On a side note, due to the unique circumstances present in Donline Shore, just about every single world in it has three different report names, depending on if you ask a local, an union, an armory, or a barony personnel on it. DS1, Harrison's World, was the armory's first territory in the Donline Shore, taken during the First Interest War, a world dominated by tropical and subtropical grasslands, prairies, savannas, and broadleaf forests, its cities are mostly clustered around the equator, which enjoys consistent rainfall and off-year monsoons, which just sounds like my home really. Previously, it was yet another fallen colony, but under the armory, it has been transformed into a bustling industrial center with a population numbering around 1.2 billion souls, serving as a common recruitment site for Donline Shore local colonial legions and naval groups, and features one of the only large-scale chassis fabrication facilities in the shore named the Maquinera, a sprawling largely automated city-sized factory complex that produces roughly 50% of all armory chassis in the Donline Shore, as well as serving as the primary storage site for the armory's dormant in-system NHP cores. The capital city of Harrison's world, Orantes, is a dense metropolis built into and between the columnar islands and islets of a titanic equatorial bay, it's a popular destination for in-sector naval officers and legionnaires, well known for its gambling, nightlife, and unique local cuisine which features bioluminescent dishes sourced from the crustaceans native to Harrison's world's equatorial oceans. Its chief officer is executive director Ajal de Costa. DS2, Arcady 2, was too considered to be fully within the armory's purview much like Harrison's world and Cruz's landing, DS3. While much of the world is a mere derelict rock dotted with meteorological monitoring stations, power plants, and communication relays, its poles are rich with ice water, and the world serves as an important fueling and freshwater site for both armory vessels arriving from the long rim and in-sector naval groups. The capital of Arcady 2 is Arcady, a socket archaeology built into and above the world's northern pole, with vast water ice mining operations spreading out from it, reaching deep into the crust ice of the terrestrial poles, this also begs the question of which one gets named first, the capital, or the planet, and either answer will probably just bring more question. Arcady 2 is also one of the few Thirdcom era worlds built with land-anchored space elevators, the armory's mission on the world demands industrial commitment, and the installation of heavy lift elevators was necessary to meet the logistical demands of the armory's plans for the Donline shore. Both of Arcady's elevators, Polar North and Polar South, link to the Ogmios Equatorial, a Hippolyta-class defense satellite constellation. Harrison's World, are protected by two. Arcady 2's chief officer is executive director Blythe Beck. DS8, Upper Laran, is the primary Donline Shore campus of the House of Stone, in many ways, Upper Laran is the opposite of the House of Stone's homeworld, Kyradin, lush, and not yet picked over by centuries of extractive resource harvesting. The world previously has a rich indigenous history stretching back to the first expansion period, well before it was colonized by the Baronies, now, it hosts the local capital of House de Kairati, of the House of Stone, and the main garrison of its military force, the Boulder Company. In recent years, owing to the significant social, civic, and military investment that the House of Stone has poured into the world, Upper Lawrence population is now a staggering 10 billions. The Baronic United Command's main secondary campus is located on Upper Laran, 
as are a number of the federal Karaikan Monarchies shipyards. As one of the BUC's major Donline Shore campuses, second only to San Simeon, Upper Laran also has a standing guard of roughly 1 million soldiers, with another 2 to 3 million in reserve through ignoble readiness programs. Upper Laran is also home to the Boulder Company's main garrison in the Donline Shore, the company doctrine of the Boulder Company mandates that seven centuries be garrisoned on Upper Laran at all times, unless a greater mobilization is necessary. Outside of raw mat and industrial goods, Upper Laurent's primary exports are foodstuffs, spices, textiles, inks, and precious luxury minerals, the House of Stone considers its most important export to be personnel and cultural capital. Like all Baronic key ports in the Donline shore, Upper Laurent is covered by two polar canopy statites, canopy-style defensive installations unique to the Baronies, often deployed in permanent orbit over polar caps. Its capital city is Canopy City, and its planetary governor is Stone Lord Hermine Atlia, of House Atlia. DS9, Sam Simeon, is the center of Baronic power in the shore, a core status world with a single state, the self-styled House of Promise, which is currently in the process of becoming the Barony's newest major house, it is comprised of minor houses founded in the Donline shore during the first Baronic expansion into the sector along with a minority of recent immigrant houses. With a population of around 6 billion on a world only 90% the diameter of Cradle, San Simeon is a densely populated planet, heavily trafficked by Baronic personnel from all major houses, the bulk of the Baronic naval forces in the sector count San Simeon as their home port, and its orbital structures are heavily defended by layers of gun platforms, orbital defense ships, and BUC naval groups on rear line duty. San Simeon also serves as a common R&R stop for house company forces rotating in and out of the shore, playing host to several centuries from any of the house companies deployed to the Donline shore at any given time, it also serves as the BUC's single largest recruitment base in the sector, with around 1 million active duty BUC soldiers on sites, a mix of local or those deployed from the concern, plus 3 to 4 millions in reserve. Its capital city is Ignatius, and its planetary governor is Governor Gaiska Atkaz, as Governor Atkaz is a Karakan Republican, they do not belong to any minor house but are an elected representative of the House of Promise. DS11, Gloria, is the shoreside capital of the House of Remembrance and a popular destination for representatives of the minor houses looking to curry favor with House Alexander, the minor house that rules the House of Remembrance back on Arudyi, once a burgeoning trade capital in proximity to the Long Rim, Gloria was bitterly contested during the First Interest War. Some of the earliest battle between early armory legions and pre-chassis house companies are fought above and on the world, long attritional ground warfare devastated its indigenous population and rich biomes. Now, the world has been rebuilt, but its scar remained, and its position as a strategically important source of fresh water and air has only been heightened by the BUC's campaign of militarization on the world. Gloria is home to the main base for the House of Remembrance's house company, the Crimson Memory, as well as the BUC's primary shipyard, Central Armory, and NHP repository in the Donline Shore, as such, it is heavily defended by the BUC, with many layers of orbital defense platforms and planet-side hardened bunkers. Deconstruction continues in Gloria's old capital, Mesa City, which was all but leveled during the war, much of the continent is still crossed with old trench lines and crater lakes, salvage is a thriving industry, though dangerous. Those ruins not scheduled for deconstruction and salvage have been converted to BUC mock fire training and acclimatization grounds for recruits from the Donline shore and new arrivals to the region. Gloria's new capital city is Raya, and its planetary governor is High Lord Vizia Alexander, of House Alexander. DLS Blink Gate, Blink 1, is the Donline shore's newly completed Blink Gate that still awaits a formal name, for now, it is informally called Blink 1. The Blink Gate is a ThirdCom standard pattern, a stack of toroid habitats built around a real space anchor, which is tethered to a stabilized Dyson panel. The toroid habitats are known collectively as Beachhead Station, and the functional components are the real space anchor and the Dyson panel, the latter of which powers the station and its Blink infrastructure. Blink-1 has sufficient capacity to transit thousands of ships per day, if it were active, likewise, its skyscraper stack toroid habitat rings could house roughly 20 million souls at capacity, currently, its population is in the low million, not counting military personnel, with only one of the six Tauruses active. It should be noted that the bulk of the station's mass is given over to the maintenance, generation, and day-to-day -day running of the Blink station, despite being able to contain millions, the habitable area is minuscule in comparison. 
Blink-1 and its immediate environs represent Union's zone of control in the Donline Shore, with access to the gate limited only to Union vessels and the facility itself under Union command, it is a constant active terminal for all auxiliary and regular personnel in transit between their gates of origin and the shore, it is heavily defended by both dedicated patrols and whatever battle groups happen to be in local space. Despite the isolation of the gate from the greater Blink network, non-Union ships still arrive at Beachhead almost daily via conventional travel, as transit corridors through the long rim aren't closed, it is essentially impossible to close space, but Union attempts to track and intercept all ships inbound to the shore. This steady accumulation of civilian and core pro vessels at Beachhead is a logistical nightmare for Union, and some ships, inevitably, break through the blockade, the armory and the baronies both use this to their advantage, directing friendly elements in the long rim to smuggle supplies, personnel, ordnance and ships into the shore. The civil director of Blink-1 is Colette Sonier. DS-4, New Madrasa, is a fulcrum world in the shore and the closest world in proximity to Union's new Blink Gate, New Madrasa's capital city, Avicenna, is home to around 21 million people, and its sovereign government is called New Madrasa United, or NMU, a metagovernment that acts as a high-level legislative body for various constituent states across the globe. Before the outbreak of hostilities on New Creighton, New Madrasa was in the process of petitioning for core status, as such, it hosts diplomatic and military representatives from both Harrison Armory and the Karakan Trade Baronies on opposite sides of Avicenna. The Armory has carved out a walled green zone across parts of Avicenna's Alhambra and Old Town districts, the Baronies have an embassy in Avicenna's Averro district, on the opposite side of the city. Currently, the situation on Madrasa could be described as volatile, the green zone Alhambra's checkpoints are under constant pressure from permanent protest camps set a few hundred meters back from the gates, with the ungratefuls and other local resistance groups becoming more brazen in their attacks on armory personnel and the green zone itself. Likewise, armory patrols have become far more aggressive, and there have been some instances of armory legionnaires trading fire with ground troopers from the Boulder Company, House of Stone security forces employed by the Baronic Embassy. Union has yet to mount a ground campaign beyond peacekeeping and civil support forces, but speculation assumes that some measure of intervention is imminent. On the Baronic side in the Baron Hardy Plaza, an open campus in Avicenna's Averro district that now serves as Baronic Embassy, the situation is practically the opposite, as the location is both heavily and peacefully trafficked by Madrasans and Baronic personnel both. Madrasa Uplift is New Madrasa's main spaceport, located around 100 kilometers outside of Avicenna, it also hosts Camp Crown, the main BUC base on New Madrasa. Camp Crown is a joint base, hosting NMU security forces, BUC soldiers, and dragoons from the Boulder Company, despite hosting Camp Crown, Madrasa Uplift is not a military spaceport. Above New Madrasa, at its Lagrange Point 4, is Solar 3, designated, Ring 1, or R1, a partial ring habitat that provides power for New Madrasa, it is a KTB mega engineering project that has been underway since the second expansion period, and is currently an independent polity under protection of the KTB. Currently, the NMU is governed by Premier Adam Roddy, in his second term, he keeps a close correspondence with Administrator Park Jun Seo, Union's highest ranking civil representative in the Donline Shore. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.